Let us now go into SAP system and try to display the data using the view proxy. I'll go to T code SE11, just like the regular tables and views. I'll go to display. Then I will try to display the contents, Control shift F10, and then hit execute. So this gives me the output. So this output is not just the output of the view proxy. Actually, this output is coming back from the database using the HANA model. So that's the beauty. So you run it in the foreground in the application server, but in the behind the scene, the database is database model is being hit and it's being executed. So it is seamless. We do not need to do any configuration. We do not need to write any logic. So it does it by itself and it's also taking care uh, using the in-memory database. The same thing we can also do in SC16. So I give the uh, view proxy name here, press enter and then execute. So it will give me the same result. Most of the SAP consultants would be familiar with SE11 and SE16. So I'm not going more here in SE11 and 16. I would like to spend some more time in the ADT or the ABAP development tool or the of the HANA studio or the Eclipse wherever you have installed it. So let's go to ADT now. So I'm switching over to my um, HANA studio. So if this is the table, so we already saw about this. So how do you do the preview? You can just right click on the, I hope you can see my cursor at GVP bank. I'm right clicking it and then I will do open with data preview. Okay. This is the same output what we saw in, in our SS16 at the application layer, but this is at the database layer and you will see that by default only 100 entries are retrieved this is just for performance um, consideration so but if you want to show more than 100 you can always change here so this is the new thing which i learned when i first um, started playing with adt i can change this to 9999 and it will give me a warning say saying that it will impact the performance but that's fine i want 999 and hit enter so it will say 108 rows retrieved so it was the same here also 108 rows right so let's place some more with this screen so if i want to know the number of entries so you can hit this number of entries it will get 108 and just like in ss16 or alv or you can select the columns you want to show and you which you do not want to show say i do not want to show and this and mandate that's fine so it goes away uh, i'll select them back and it will show up again here you go you also have the option to add filters so say banks i will enter the bank au and hit enter this is caps sensitive so here you go au and if i remove it it will give me blank and if i don't want anything i can just cancel it and it will give me everything you can also save the entries in spreadsheet or HTML file or XML file. So let me show you one example, delimit file. This is very easy. You, you select what type of delimiter you want. I say comma delimiter. I give a browser. I give a path. I say gvp underscore banks and then save. And then I just hit finish. So it downloads a file in the path. So Excuse me for this clutters. I'm planning to clean my desktop maybe by the weekend, but please bear with me for the clutter. And if you open this, you will find the data downloaded with comma delimited. So whatever we entered there. Let us go back to the HANA studio and do one more thing which I wanted to show is SQL console. So if you click here, it will tell you what is behind the scene SQL. So if you need to consume this data uh, you can use this syntax as well so it is if you run this it's giving this output so behind the scene this sql is being written another cool feature which i liked about this is you can also convert into xml file so so if you go here i give gvp underscore bn case it will convert into a beautiful xml file 
so i'll just i'll just double click it how do you go so you have the roots and then the rows so that is the beauty of the hana adt so you need to explore more to get comfortable with it but but once you are comfortable with it you will love this um, editor more than your gui